and here we go. Grim sneaking up, tension's thick, spots one, bam, headshot, sees another, relentless, and he, oh no, he's down. FaZe Clan clinches it, ecstasy on their faces, they erupt in victory, crowds going wild, what an electric moment. The commentary you just heard on that Counter-Strike clip was autonomously generated by just inputting a video file. Let me show you how. Let's start by looking at the flowchart of the system here. So you can see in the top left corner we put in an mp4 video clip. And from that video clip we extract a set number of frames. This could be 30, 60, that's kinda up to you. These frames will get converted into the base 64 encoding. So with this encoding we can kinda take each frame and create some sort of like a summary of all the frames we have. And that summary can be used with the GPT-4 Vision API to create a full description of all the frames we collected. And, these description, and this description will be passed on to the OpenAI TTS API. So we kind of adjust this description to be a voiceover with just some prompt engineering. And this description from the TTS API will be saved as an mp3 file, right? And then we can merge the mp4 file with the mp3 file. And we will end up with the final video with the new kind of voiceover that is created with the GPT-4 Vision API. But before I show you how this works, let's take a quick look at today's sponsor, CapCut Online. As a content creator, I'm always on the lookout for tools that make my workflow seem more smooth and efficient. That's why I'm so excited to share CapCut Online's video editor innovative features. Let's talk about CapCut Online's AI-powered magic tools. This suite of feature is a game changer for anyone who wants to create high-quality videos without the hassle. Whether you're a seasoned creator or just starting out, these tools simplify the editing process so you can focus more on your creativity. A standout feature is CapCut Online's script to video. Just provide a prompt and watch as CapCut Online writes a ready-to-use script and generates a copyright-compliant video ready for you to tweak and perfectly capture your voice and style. And the CapCut Online's long video to shorts, you can effortlessly transform your longer content into engaging short videos perfect for platforms like TikTok. This feature is ideal for repurposing content and reaching a wider audience across different social media channels. All these incredible features and more are just one click away, so simply click the link in the description below and start using CapCut Online today and explore its array of AI-powered tools. So, creating professional-looking videos for YouTube, TikTok or any other platform has never been easier. But now, let's get back to the video. So the first function I wanted to show you is the extract frames function. So here you can kind of set our frame interval. You can see I have set it to 60 now. This means that we take each uh, one frame each second, right? So if we have a 10 second videos, we will end up with 10 frames. And here you can see we have a get video duration function. This is just because we want to know how long the video is. So we can adjust this in the prompt. I'm going to show you that. Uh, here is where we encode our image to base64 encoding. That's pretty straightforward. And here we have the get frame description. So here is kind of where we introduce the GPT-4 Vision API. Uh, I put the max tokens to 1000 and I added some temperature here. So we can kind of adjust it. I've been running with 0 now. But you can set this to 1 and get a more yeah, creative or different outputs. Uh, I also put in like a server error attempt here, so it's kind of like a retry function. Here is the create voiceover function. We use the TTS model one from OpenAI and we picked a voice named Echo. Yeah, we have some voices to pick from, not many. Here we use MoviePy to kind of merge the audio and video like we talked about. So the MP3 and the MP4. And here you can kind of see we set our video path. So here is our mp4 file. I was too lazy to create a UI for this. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty bad, but yeah, we're just gonna do it like this now. And then, yeah, let's just run it. So I wanted to take a big look at the prompt here because we have done some kind of prompt engineering. You can call it that. You can see we have a word count. So this is how many words I want to be said in like the whole video. So let's say you say two words per second, or let's say 2.5 words per second, maybe for the commentary on like some esports. So we have the video duration times two. Let's say the video is 10 seconds. We have 25 words. So we're gonna print the word count. And here you can see we have this video is only 
video duration seconds long, so it could be 10 seconds long. So make sure the voiceover must be less than word count. So let's say 25 words. And that is kind of our initial prompt. And then we have uh, like the personalized prompt for each video. So act as an open AI tutorial guide in a conversational style, explain step by step of what is happening in the frames suitable for a voiceover. And then we just add our, yeah, this kind of instruction prompt here at the end. So that is kind of our final prompt. So we just feed that into the Vision API model, right? And we get an MP3 file out and we get a video and we kind of merge them together. Uh, we can also take the original clip and just add the MP3 file if we want that. So that's a bit detail on the, um, on the Python script. But uh, yeah, let's run it on some different video clips and see what kind of cool stuff we can get. So I thought we can start up with this eSport clip. This is kind of League of Legends, so you can see there's no sound here. It's just the image, right? And it's some kind of player getting like a, a penta kill in this game. So you can kind of see all of what's happening here. So what I thought is we just gonna take this file here. Uh, this is called lol.mp4. So we're just gonna set lol. And we want the output file to be, let's say, League of Legends 2 mp4. And let's change up the prompt here. So let's say, so let's go with act as an engaging League of Legends commentator in a short conversational style. Explain what is happening in the frames suitable for a voiceover. Okay. So that is pretty much it. Now let's run it and see what kind of results we can get. So you can see on the right here now we have no extracted frames. But when we run this now, you can kind of see at the moment we get all the frames we need for this, right? And we see the word count is 35. It's 40, 14 seconds. We extracted 15 frames. And now let's see what kind of yeah, voiceover we can get there. So here you can kind of see the description. Does this fit? I don't know. Let's find out. Okay, so let's take a look here. Oh, it's chaos in the base. A dazzling play. Double kill. They're relentless, chasing down for more. Triple kill. Can they secure it? Quadra kill. One more for the glory. Pentakill. Unbelievable. Okay, that was not too bad, but you can kind of see it missed a bit on the timing here. It kind of said pentakill like, like three seconds before it actually happens. So I noticed that sometimes happen. I don't know. I tried to like amp up the frame capture. That seems to help a bit. But uh, you can also kind of adjust the video duration. How many words you want. So there is need for some adjustments. But it worked pretty well right. Uh, I think we just got to move on to the next clip. Okay so the next clip I have is. I just went to like OpenAI's playground. I just clicked around. Tried to create an assistant here. So I gave it like a name. I gave it some instructions, I kind of picked a model, right? And then I tried to kind of run the model inside this playground window here. And that is basically the screen capture I did. Now let's try to add some voiceover to this. So we just picked act as an open AI tutorial guide in a conversational style, explain step by step what is happening in the frames. Yeah, uh, we pick a video duration. Let's do two maybe. Let's stick with 2.5. I think that was pretty good. And uh, yeah, I think we're just gonna stay on 60 frames. And yeah, let's run it. So you can see 28 seconds, 70 words, 29 frames. Okay. Okay, so let's check it out. So we go OpenAI 2 down here. Welcome to the OpenAI Playground. Here we're creating a new assistant. We start by naming our project, yeah. typing in tutorial for clarity. Next, we provide instructions describing our assistant's task to help with the tutorial. We then select the model, choosing the latest GPT-4, yeah. known for its advanced capabilities. <laughs> with the model set, we're ready to interact. We type say hi, a simple <laughs> prompt to test our assistant. And there it is. Our so it said said hi, it's, it's say it, but that's fine. Our assistant responds with hi. <laughs> no, it responds with hello, but perfect timing, I guess confirming it's ready to assist. We've successfully set up a basic OpenAI assistant in the playground. Now, the possibilities for interaction are endless. Let's explore what this AI can do. Wow, that was great. I, it got the details wrong. 
Uh, it said the latest GPT-4 model, I thought, guess that was okay. But uh, it missed some details like the name, the input and the response. But that's fine. I think that was very good. Pretty cool, right? Uh, let's move on to kind of a different clip and let's try to change up our final or like our prompt a bit. Now let's try, I found this clip from Netflix series. Uh, so this is kind of like a nature clip. So we have this Siberian tiger here walking just on the snow. And I think we ended up with like a crow here at the end. So the prompt I picked here was like, act as a nature, act as an a nature documentary commentator in the style of David Attenborough. In a conversational style, uh, explain what is happening in the frame suit for a voiceover. Okay, so I haven't tested this before, so let's see what happens. Okay, so let's run it. 17 seconds. Perfect. Here comes the frames. Yes. So 17 frames extracted. The word count is around 43. So we don't want any more words than 43. That's good. Okay, so here you can see the description. Yeah, that seems pretty accurate to be honest. Kinda in the David Attenborough style. Uh, let's have a listen. Okay, so here it is, Tiger 2. In the hushed glow of dawn, a magnificent tiger pads softly through the snow-covered forest. It stripes a stark contrast to the serene white. A symbol of wild endurance, it moves with purpose and power, a solitary figure in the vast wilderness. Yeah, that was good, right? It didn't mention the crow though, but I, I think that was pretty good. It kind of reminded me of like a David Attenborough documentary, right? So I really like that. Let me add some kind of some music and stuff on top of this and see how good it uh, really can be. Okay, so I went ahead, added some background music. Let's have a listen now. I think this was much better. In the hushed glow of dawn, a magnificent tiger pads softly through the snow-covered forest. It stripes a stark contrast to the serene white. A symbol of wild endurance, it moves with purpose and power, a solitary figure in the vast wilderness. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty cool, right? Okay, so that was quite a cool project, if you ask me. If you're interested in the code, you can find a link to my YouTube membership down in the description. If you become a member, you can get access to the GitHub. So I'm gonna upload this to the GitHub. And also, don't forget to check out CapCut online. Thank you for tuning in, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.